Kuri Barak the Yahawa, Barak the Yahushai, Barak the Yahawa, Barak the Yahushai, Barak the Yahawa, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim, Racha Hakudash, Kohalo Yahawa, Bahashim Yahushai, the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right, Bahashim, Haracha Hakudash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honor to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, and shalom to the whole four elect brothers that believe in this word and that fear in the Heavenly Father and His Son. And I wanted to do a quick video here. On a quick, uh, a quick uh, Hebrew prayer, you know, I, I, you know, I'll tighten the state, stay in the light. Um, <clears throat> it was just a prayer for us to stay in the presence of the Lord. You know, it's it's, it's another way of, of asking the Lord uh, uh, to not uh, basically cast us off out of this truth and take His knowledge from us. Because what does knowledge and wisdom represent, or, or what does light represent? Knowledge and wisdom. I want to get a quick precept. Since I said that, I'm going to pull it up here. Salakia. Psalm 19, 119, and 100, the 105th verse. This is, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto my path, right? Right, the scriptures, the law, statutes, and commandments, all right, the prophecies, the wisdom contained in the scriptures, that is light. You have a term for it, it's called enlightenment, right? But only the Lord can cause you to be enlightened. Only the Lord can, uh, and if the Lord has enlightenment to you, he, he's had mercy and grace upon you that you might be saved. Right, so this is a prayer to stay within that light, stay within the truth, uh, within the truth, right? By a moth in, in the truth of Yahweh, by Shem Shai, in the scriptures, you know, which is remaining in His presence, right? Now, where I, where I drew the uh, the the uh, precept from or the prayer from is uh, Psalms chapter four and verse six. It says, "There be many that say." Who will shew us any good, right? And the Most High has showed, shewed us good in this time, right? And he has shewed good unto our nation uh, as a whole by giving us the law, statutes, and commandments, right? It says, Lord, right? And the, the capital O-R-D is Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, the King of the universe, the creator of all things, all right? And of course, uh, uh, we... we uh, we go into the heavenly father through his son, Yahweh Shai, right? The king of kings and lord of lords. It says, lift thou up the light. It says, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us, right? So, uh, base, you know, have, the, have thy light to shine upon us, right? This knowledge, this truth, and this wisdom. Okay. <clears throat> And this is where I drew drew the uh, the prayer from, right? Which we'll get into that. You know, I had to take a picture. Um, so the prayer here, as you can see in Salakia, you know, I had to draw arrows and stuff. I kind of everything's not uh, polished, let's say. Um, and, but the prayer is, uh, you know, of course, you address the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Hakodash, or Salakia, or, or, you know, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, Babakusha, 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 Babakusha means please, right? Shamar, Naya, Shamar means what? It means to keep or to watch, right? So Shamar Naya Naya at the end means me. Right? Shamar Naya Baha Awar or a war. Right? Ba means uh in and ha means the and a war means light. So keep me in the light. Right? And then uh Panyaka. Real quick prayer. Panyaka. Right, punya means face, presence, or countenance, right? And ka means your. So keep me in the light of your 
countenance. Keep me within thy presence. Right? And that's what we want. We want to stay within the light of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We don't want to be cast into outer darkness. We, we want to stay within this truth. We want to continue to worship the Most High. All right? And we want to worship Him in spirit and in truth. So... Um, Mr. Lucky, I believe there's one more precept I, I have to get here. But, you know, real quick video, you know, Shamar Naya Baha Awar Punyaka. Keep me in the light of thy countenance. This is Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. It says, This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endure forever. Now, the commandments. The Lord says, commandments of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. We're keeping them to the best of our ability, right? Which, um, when you go into, uh, what's that, uh, Isaiah, the, um, uh, I believe it's the, the 28th chapter, the 9th verse, where it says, law, line upon line, uh, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little, when you actually go into it, the precepts and the lines, those are laws when you go into the Hebrew, right? So really all all, every, all the uh, the commandments and the ordinances of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai are contained all over the book, right? <clears throat> right? But also, hey, this, this law is our wisdom in the sight of the nation. So we want to stay within the wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and not be reprobate, meaning... Uh, void or empty of wisdom or empty of uh, judgment, right? We have the judgments, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding of the scriptures through the Holy Spirit, all right, which we receive by the sacrifice of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, right? Which, uh, you know, we're coming out of the, the time of the, uh, uh, the Passover will be ending uh, soon, um, tomorrow night. Right. Um, but, you know, when the Lord was sacrificed after, you know, the Passover was kept, you know, the sacrificial lamb. Right. He was that ultimate sacrificial lamb, the lamb without blemish. And because he was slain, like it says in Revelation, the fifth chapter, we are able to receive this knowledge that we have now. And we want to stay in this knowledge until the end. So this is a, this is a prayer for that. It's almost a. Uh, um, similar to a Psalms 51 prayer, but in a different um, wording, right? Because we know the light is the wisdom, right? We we know that we, uh, a being in the presence of the Lord is uh, dwelling in this truth, in this ministry, right? And this is a prayer for the Lord to keep us here, right? So, you know, you can even say... Uh, um, you can even say all oh, hakwateza at the end, which is until the end. You know, keep me in the light of that countenance to the end, right? Or you know, you could say uh, uh, I will lump forever, right? You know, <laughs> you know, just just a basic prayer. You know, shamar naya, baha, a war, panyaka. Keep me in the light of that countenance. You know. You end off the prayer, you know, by Hashem, by Hashem, you know, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Thawada, Thamyad, or Thawada, Amun, right? To end off the prayer. But just a quick prayer I wanted to get. Um, but I'm going to continue reading this. I'm going to end this off with this precept. And the law that endureth forever, all they that keep it, shall come to life and we want to we want to come to life man this this life that we're living this is not life man this is just as elder apostle kabar says all the time this is just existing right we're not truly living we're not truly um enjoying the planet enjoying the earth as we should like the scripture says the earth was created for our sakes you know why do we not yet why do we uh now not having inheritance with the with the heathen, right? The earth was created for us, all right? The people of the Lord, the Israelites, 
you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It was created for us to enjoy. That's why it's called, referred to as I done, which is paradise, right? We're not enjoying paradise. The earth is not even in her fullness and her, her uh, luxurious state of paradise. So, you know, even in that respect, how can we when the earth is sick and she needs refreshing from the Lord, right? We all, you know, she needs refreshing, our nation needs refreshing, and the refreshing is going to come with the elect first. All right, from our Lord Yahweh Shai, who's going to come with healing in his wings. It says, um, but such as leave it shall die. So, right, you don't want to leave, all right, the truth. You don't want to leave the uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shai, Yahushai, right? It says, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Turn thee and take hold of it, Right? You, you got to fight. You got to take hold of it, right? You got you to gotta grab it and, and hold on for dear life. To, like, you know, Scripture says, fight you the good fight of faith. This is a fight. You got to fight to believe. You got to fight to have an earnest expectation in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because these, these demons, these um, outside spiritual forces, right? Even, even internal forces, the flesh. You got turmoil on the uh you know things that happen on the uh, that try to uh deter you from the path on the outside and then things on the inside your flesh right working against you to try and uh, uh, uh thwart you from you know uh taking that crown and we have to fight against those things our flesh and these demons right it says um Turn the old Jacob and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light, right? Walk in the presence of the light. You know, uh, halak ba uh, uh, ba panya a war. Walk in the presence of the light of the light thereof. And where does the light come from? It comes from Yahweh ba Oh, uh, precept, precept, precept. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Father, let's let's get this of lights. James uh, chapter one and verse 17. Right. And this is a gift that the Lord has given us to be able to break down these scriptures, to be able to prophesy. All right. To in all the other different uh uh, faculties and functions and operations in this ministry the Lord has given us by his Holy Spirit, right? It says every good and every perfect gift is from above. So anybody that has a gift or a talent, the most high has given it to them, right? But the most important gift, the most important talent is the the knowledge, the, the, the teaching of this word, Right? And then amongst that, prophesying. That's why the scriptures say covet to prophesy. It says, um, it's from above and cometh down from the father of lights. With whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Right. So the most high doesn't change. But coming down from the father of lights, the Lord, uh, uh, the heavenly father, Yahweh. Right. Which, you know, it, Sent down through the jurisdiction of his son Yahushai, right? Those gifts come from the Heavenly Father. Those gifts come from Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And this is a gift. Faith, the faith that we have, is a gift that the Lord has given us. All right? Our ability to break down the scripture is a gift that the Lord has given us, right? So we can't boast in these gifts that we have because there's nothing that we did to receive them. The Lord has had mercy upon us and grace upon us for us to receive this knowledge and this truth. So um, I'm going to go back. It says, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Right? Enlightened. 
okay? The elect are the true uh, enlightened ones. They have been enlightened to the truth. This devil is enlightened on the left-hand side. He's been enlightened unto wickedness, all right? He's been enlightened to, unto power on the left-hand side, but the elect power on the right-hand side, which is stronger than the left hand. So, uh, Lord Will, this was an edifying video for you, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> and um, with that, I'm going to say, call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.